Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194 and appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come visit and check out my video. And we're here in the USCP server here in uh, Masano in the BMW M4. I'm sure you're going to see a lot of videos with that car. <laughs> Great car though. Going double five. Got two BMWs here. He's on the pole and I'm outside pole. I ran a 134.6 something and he ran a 134.2 something. So that's well, it's pretty good. I mean, that's there. Uh, I mean, that's not much. And then in the earlier race, I did the earlier race with this. I ran a 134.55 on for pole, and I was on pole that time. Uh, but that race didn't go so well. Got uh, bumped out by a couple different things going on. So I just that didn't go so good. So I'm trying the hour long. So we'll see how this goes. Green light, green light, go, go, go. Hopefully it goes better than the first right. race. Clear on the right. Car on the right. Clear on the right. He's fast, so we'll see how it goes. Got North Valley behind me in the Lamborghini. Trying the Huracan out. Doing pretty good. Got Bowman in here. Not a real big field. A lot of people don't want to do an hour. Earlier race would have went good. I wouldn't have done it, but I mean, it's a thorough, you know, earlier race didn't go well. Whoa, TD. TD for cold tires. Yeah, so I just quit out of that earlier race. Then I had a drive through, and it's just one thing just led to another. It's just like a domino thing. He's running good.
going to be a little closer to him. I guess I'm drafting. time. Take there. Back on, back at him again. about the giveaway that's coming up coming up in about a week once you see this video somewhere around there details will be coming very soon
got the Fanatic V2.5 X wheel that I'm giving away. Brand new in the box. And it's got the uh, the new coupler, coupler to go with it. Content right here. As long as I, you know, don't get too big a gap. The tires are getting hot anyway, so. Main goal is to let him drag me down the straightaways. At least a little bit. Yellow flag is sector one. A good pace. Seems like I'm stronger on him than corner entry on some of these corners.
my traction control up one. Mm, front tire's getting, the front's getting warm. Definitely pushing. I think it takes bumps like just unbelievably good. Of course, the Motec thing has really helped with that. I mean, Doing better and better with it every time. I mean, I think the performance is a little better, but I mean, it's, again, it's fine tuning, but man, it takes the bumps like way better. I mean, look at, look at all these bumps, you don't even feel it. It's a teeny little. I'm gonna rock my fillings out. Ten seconds ahead of North Valley. Great looking view, though. I mean, I, I love the rear end of the BMW. Got a great butt. I might, if I can remember, I might, uh, if you, of course you'll see it in the thumbnail, but, um, think of my livery that I got on this one. Comments and feedback would be great. I love it. Just changed a couple things and I love the livery. Side tires are definitely hot. Should have turned them down a little bit. Now, like I said in the other video, they don't give you that much time, so you really need to be ready. You know, at the end of qualifying, because you only have a minute and a half. That's it. And it's just, man. You know, just enough to look over everything and. You're ready to go. Get a sip of a drink and go.
Strong car, he's an M4s. But, you know, I was running some, uh, my next, the late race, if I can get enough energy to do that one, I'd like to do it in the Lambo. I was running the same times in it, so. Such an easy car to drive. Really. Almost too easy. See, it's getting them hotter again. Good battle. He's in a good pace. Hits? Okay. Well, I was thinking about doing that just to have fun, but once I saw that he was, you know, had good pace, I was like, well, shoot, I'm not going to do that. Just pretty much gives away the race away. I turn my traction control up another notch just to try to save on the rear tires. Man, pulling 
away from North Valley, so. I like how they get the, the highlight there for fast lap. That's kind of neat. That way you also, uh, you know, at the end of the race, you can see you got it. It's kind of neat about that. This is a nice little extra. so easy to drive you end up lollygagging sit there and take a nap <laughs> it is it's got to be one of the easiest cars I mean it's, it's so well balanced you just you just point it there and that's where it goes confident he could you know keep the pace up with just with the same tires I guess traffic up ahead. Be a little while before I can get to him. Hey, North Valley got it a second. Bowman's third. my ducks one more but I don't see the brake getting hot yet just the tires out at. It'll be flying, that's for sure. Lower fuel and and uh, brand new tires. We are halfway through, give it up. on the right. 
right. Hopefully I just keep making some improvements to the setups. Again, this is, you know, every time it seems like I can come out with another one, it's the best one I've had. Of course, I don't have much for the M4. Good. I'm sure more will be coming. I didn't want to M4 everybody to death, so. I love driving it. It's a great car. It looks great. It's nothing I don't like. But, you know, I like a lot of them. You know, I like almost all of them. So, like I said, I don't want to M4 you guys to death. So, I mean, a lot of everybody else is wanting to run them. So. But if that's what you want to see, again, you know, I, you know, comment any feedback, comments. I'd love because it really helps. Of course, I only have so much time and so many races that I can do, so or so much time to even do setup. So, you know, I really try to do the ones that people are wanting, not um, just you know, if I don't, I just car I wanted to you know, work on or whatever, but if not, then, you know, I try to do always get priority to, priority to, um, people that are requesting them, so. And of course, I mean, I'm sure everybody realizes uh, that comes along with PayPal, too. I mean, if you, you know, you help support the channel, you kind of get, you kind of go right to the top of the list, so. It's just only right. I'm trying to show some appreciation. So, so I do appreciate, you know, appreciate that. Tend to break up just a teeny bit. I turn up some more later just to help the car out. Valley still in second. Good job. You never, your car you never really drives. Ah, dang it. Too wide. 
there. Comments or feedback? I mean, how's everybody liking the update and ACC? Goods, bads? I mean, it's almost all goods. The thing I don't like is I don't like the, uh, like I talked about with that, they changed the time in between the qualifying and the race. I don't like that. Oh, that's small. Small potatoes. Six places up here a ways, so I don't know if we'll catch we probably won't catch him. Still don't know where the other guy went to with the BMW. Watching my tires, making sure I keep them in the parameters. I don't want to overheat them and get them to where they can't hardly drive or worn out before the end of the race. It's kind of my mess up of not lowering them a little bit before the race started or opening up the brake ducts. I kind of dropped the ball on that one. gone but I mean it's not over steering really anything major or under steering or anything like that it's a little I mean a little of both and different you know depending upon the corner it's 
sometimes you get a little understeer, a little oversteer, you know, throttle oversteer, but I mean, it's nothing. Nothing major. A second off my fast. That's you know, that's nothing real bad. Exactly a second actually. <laughs> Yeah, basically that giveaway uh, with the Fanatec wheel, I mean, basically in the video that, um, I'll let you know which video it is. So, you know, keep an eye on that. Make sure you have your bell uh, on so you get any notifications of new videos. That way you don't miss it. And basically just... Uh, I can do say yes or just comment anything and you're entered into the giveaway and unless you specifically say you don't want to and uh, like I said you know small channel you got probably better chances of winning it than a lot of other places so this is my way to thank everybody and for everybody's support and you know to keep visiting and saying thank you for that you know, sharing the videos and just getting the word out and all those things. Just thank you for, you know, everything that you, everybody does. You know, donations, PayPal, everything. So, I just, you know, appreciate it all. And, um, you know, the comment and feedback. I mean, appreciate all that and the ideas. And uh, just love talking to everybody. I did the same thing last year, except it was uh, the advanced uh, shifter module from a Fanatec. This is one of the best cars going through that dog leg I've ever driven. I mean, it's so neutral that it's just like yawn through there. Heard a lot of other cars that you're, you know, gritting your teeth and wondering if you're going to make it or not. Like I said, this thing is just definitely super balanced just very neutral ever since you know tuned the uh, springs and shocks I mean it really takes bumps just unbelievable.
So I can't wait to keep doing that to other cars and get them to handle the bumps better. And in one place it's gonna be challenge is Imola. Like I had that race the other day with a Porsche, which I need to work on that some more. I just used the old setup that I had and it was okay. It got me, got me through, but something, an area I need to work on. Check these tires out after we get done. See how roasted they are. I did this for a living. I'd love to be doing all this stuff all the time, trying to get stuff done. You know, setups and races and thank you. But I'm just a little, little teeny fish in a big, huge ocean. Yeah, I love racing with faster people because that's how you get better. I mean, you don't you don't get better by you know you know not pushing yourself. So I love racing against you know if I get beat, I get beat. But you also see where you're lacking at, where you need to improve. I mean, it was the same way. To be honest, I mean, it was the same way when I started you know sim racing with ACC. Of course, I did other sims too, but I mean, ACC, uh, when I started doing it a lot, you know, doing just the AI, you know, it wasn't doing, you know, I did that for, I don't know, a long time, probably six months, eight months, just racing the AI and stuff like that. That's fun. I didn't mind that at all. And I mean, of course, you know, I mean, I was racing at 90%, 95%, things like that. And I mean, you know, it gives you a challenge and, you know, I was having a hard time, you know, So you just keep getting better, you know, keep pushing and finding out where you're weak and where you need to improve and, you know, get to know the tracks better. Can't wait till they come out with a new DLC. You know, on that like crazy. 
so I could be part of the select few that get it early. <laughs> so I could really run it through his paces, but I know that won't happen. That's okay. I'll get it when it comes out. All these guys, aliens, I mean, they're just, I mean, it's just like, wow, these guys are so fast. But, you know, it's taking a lot of, I'll guarantee a lot of their time to get there. I mean, I don't even want to know how many hours they got. I mean, I have 3,300 hours in the ACC. So, and that's on my limited time. So, I can imagine what they have. It's a ridiculous amount. Everybody else think of the BMW M4. I mean, have y'all been driving it? Y'all like it? I didn't like the grills in the front, but this kind of grows on me a little bit. I'm looking better than I did. I still like the ones on the M6 better. The old fashioned grills like that, but that's just me. But these aren't, I don't know, they kind of grow on me. They're all right, I guess. Definitely growing on me though. Just the looks of it. I like it. Gotta be careful when you do that because you know put you, know, you already got a car that's kind of getting loose probably you gotta make sure you, you hit the brakes straight barely turn <laughs> don't you know don't try to limit your your trail braking just maybe slow corners or you know stuff like that bias into it see what's what it likes maybe what it don't like see she really helped turn right there I wasn't pushing real hard going through there but I can feel it rotate
the guy just quit or something? I mean, I don't ever even see him, so I don't know. I don't know. Valley still in second. Porsche and Godzilla. I need to drive that too because he said it. He did some improvements to it too, so I need to really need to get in that. See what's going on. Battle for position right here. Fourth and fifth. I wasn't even watching the fuel. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, it'll be close. Way too close for me.
That's about the closest I've ever had. Thank you, Joe Blow. For your fuel calculator. Less than a liter left. Point <laughs> eight. That is... You don't get much closer than that. That's for sure. Woo. Thank you, Joe Blow. Well, the car just conked out on me. <laughs> There's my livery. But yeah, I mean, I just changed, uh, whether it was a dark color, changed it to white. I kind of went with the scheme of the car anyway. And then just changed the, where it was white and changed it all to black. I think I changed the uh, darker wheels to the darker black wheels. I love it. I think it looks really good. I think it looks almost like it's supposed to be that way. Really. I love it. Looks. I just love it. But thank you. Um, I appreciate any feedback or comments. It would be great. Um, let me see. Put in a good race all. Where did he finish? I don't even see him. He must have just stopped or quit or something. I don't know what. He, I don't know. I don't know what his deal was, or he didn't have the right fuel in, and he decided just. I don't know. Be good. Finish. Be good finish to Valley. Finish second in the uh, Lamborghini, which he doesn't ever drive, so I thought that was pretty good. So, I thought that was good. There's two North Valleys. What the heck? <laughs> There's a North Valley in the Mercedes, and, and down there, which North Valley is it? But, but anyway... <laughs> that was crazy. But let's go over to setup. Check out the tires. We got. Uh, oh, let's load the other one because it's got the right temperatures on there. So we got 24.7 left front, 25.4 left rear, 25.7 right front, and 26.2 right rear. The toe is negative 0.1 with the camber at negative 3.7 on the left front, negative 3.6 on the right front, with the caster at 10.1. And the toe on the rear is 0 .05 with the camber at negative 3.2 on the left rear and negative 3.1 on the right rear. Electronics are 3, 4, and 1, of course. Fuel, of course, that's just 80 liters. Uh, I think to do this, I had 96 liters, and you can see how close it was. It was right to the last liter. <laughs> so, um, let's see what the... I'm sure, oh, there you go. Got moderate graining and light blister on the left front and a light blister on the left rear. Yeah, I mean, of course, they were running hot. So, I mean, look at that. They're just, I mean, they're shot. They are war flat out. I still running 136s, mid 136s around there at the end. So, not, that's not the greatest, but that's not bad. So, I'll take it for this variation of it. Mechanical got five on the anti roll bar, 56.6 on the brake bias, which I did turn it all the way down to like 54, I think. Was it 54 or 55? I don't remember. But anyway, it might have been 55. But anyway, I don't remember. But anyway, I turned it down a good amount, so I probably could start off of this a lot more aggressive. Um, I would probably start at 56. You'd definitely be more aggressive with it because you're giving away too much in the beginning of the race. Uh, springs in the front are 165,000 with a bump stop rate of 600, any bump stop range of 10. And on the rear, the springs are 135,000 with a bump stop rate of 400 and a bump stop range of 36. I did change that. That's in the other setup. That's one of the things I changed right before the race. So, again, you can go to the, if you want to try that, 150,000 springs, you can go to that. Um, but I was watching, looking at the MoTeC, and it looked like, you know, it had a little bit too much, uh, too much travel, so I basically knocked it down. So, or too much on the chart, anyway. So, I basically knocked it down, 
to uh, get it more uniform. Not maybe how much travel, but the uniformity of the travel, I should say. So, again, that's just your choice, but either way is good. I ran, you know, pretty close to the same times. Um, they're both really good. So, you might you can go either way. So, this is a little bit more conservative. Let's just put it that way. If you leave it at here, it's a little bit more conservative. If you go to that, it's, you know, a little bit more on the edge. So, let's take it uh, as you will. Any roll bars 3 on the rear. Preload is 60 on the diff. Shocks. You see are a lot different. We have 28 and 22 and 12. So it's 20, then 8, then 22, then 12 on the front. And on the rear, it's 16, then 8, then 20, and then 12 on the rear. So that's the shocks. Again, it's pretty balanced. Just a little bit different. But, um, of course, the springs are a lot different. But the shocks, you know, that's how balanced the car is. Very, very balanced car. Arrow got 51 on the front, 56 in the rear with a five rear wing and a three and a three in the brake ducts, which probably could have been four and four. But, you know, again, that's just you'll be adjusting those all the time. So, again, I will leave a link to this setup in the description. And I ran in the earlier race. Again, if you missed it in the qualifying, I was on the pole. I ran a 134.55. And in this race, I ran a 134.6 something. So that was the difference. But, you know, it could be just me. But anyway, um, I was happy with those times, really. Um, you know, not, I mean, there was optimum, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't super cold or anything where you could, you know, maybe get a few more tents. But anyway, I'm really happy with that. So again, um, I sure hope it works good for you. And any comment or feedback would be great. And a like and a subscribing is all supporting the channel. And I really appreciate it. You know, all my subscribers and everybody that gives me a thumbs up and uh, subscribes to the channel. And also anybody that supports me through the PayPal. Again, thank you very much. And I hope you come back and visit again really soon. Y'all take care. See ya.